Level seven. Shoop the whoop. Bramble vine. <laughs> Hedge near Baba is more. Oh. And then you just can't escape it, right? Oh. Oh. So apparently it also kills me. Hedge is defeat and stop. Ow. Ah, you can't turn the corner if you make a chase to you that far. Alright. Hedge is defeat and stop. Hedge near Baba is more. Me is fall. Me is open. Wallace, stop. Belt is shift. Flag is win. Rock is push. Door is shut and defeat. Me is move. Okay. So I come in here, I'm stuck. But then me becomes move, and then I die because me falls in the hole, and I can't leave. Hip hip hooray. Also, if I'm here. I guess me can go through Baba to hit the flag. Yeah. Because me and Baba are not push or stop. Baba is just you and that's it. Okay. What am I supposed to do with a hedge? What purpose does it serve in here? Oh, right. So this is a hedge growing puzzle. Because I have to be down there and press move. Which will mean that I can't come back out at all. So I need to create a bridge all the way to the shift. And I only have three rocks and three rock is push. So I'm too short from being able to just have this be the whole thing. Which would be convenient for sure. Yes. Ouchies. Big ouchies. And then I trap die. Dead trapped. Then I'm extra mega dead. Ouchies. Ouchies. I don't know what they're expecting from me here. Uh, what kind of complicated growth pattern could save the day here? I'm not really sure. And then I die. Hip hip hurray. It's incredibly clear that I don't have a plan. Uh, what do you want from me? Yeah, I don't... I don't know. Feels like this one's based around an entirely new skill set that I have to resolve. First of all, can I verify that this these would even work the way I would think they would? Yep. I really do just need those two tiles and then and then me will open because yeah me as follows open so that's the main thing I need Thank you. 
I definitely feel like I'm gonna trial and error this like crazy because I just don't really have like an algorithmic plan of how best to deal with the hedge patterns. To make it fit the way I want it to. It's hard to make it turn a cor the corner at all. Like, I want to come in here without killing me. Which, good luck. Maybe that's part of it, is I need to go further? Without turning the corner right away? Nope. Still creates the same problem, there's no way to make it grow again. And you can't backtrack. Be here for a while. Like, that's the puzzle, right? That's it? Just what movement pattern solves my problem with the hedge? The main thing is you can't go directly away from it. There has to be one next to you while you're moving. Because then you end up being diagonal from it. Whereas right here... I can just leave, but then it won't follow me. And I can't reapproach it because it instantly kills me. Which makes my options really limited most of the time. And then if I turn the corner like this to make it actually keep following me, that just means I die. Because then then I then this happens. I don't see how this would ever be fixable. Because if I block it with a rock... Like, no matter what, if it's gonna follow me, then the area on my right, as far as I can tell, is going to be blocking my path and then killing me. And I don't see any way to fix that. Because if I block it with a rock, then it just doesn't follow me at all, and then we dead end. I don't know what we're supposed to be doing here. The rocks feel completely useless and superfluous. It doesn't feel like they solve any of my problems because I just, I can't get it to turn the corner. What does it want from me? It kind of feels like when a Rubik's cube or a sliding tile puzzle shows up in the middle of a in, a, in the middle of a game out of nowhere, just because this is like a whole new, different algorithmic movement sequence that I have to suddenly do outside of the normal thing I want. Unless there is a cool epiphany to be had here that I don't know about. Uh, maybe there is. And maybe this is it. Because the epiphanies are what are exciting. Just being like, eh. It's not exciting, but maybe this is it. Turning off Rocket's push. A 
That's totally what it is. <laughs> there is a cool thing that happens. So I want this bridge to happen. But then I want... It to stop. Ah, can't move it when it's not in push. There we go. Wait, no, I don't need to move it then, because I was trying to move it so it wouldn't be in my way. But it won't be in my way because it's not a push. Got my stuff mixed up a bit. I think. Yeah? Yeah! There we go. There was an epiphany, thank god. I just had to get past the idea that there was any kind of way to make the actual rocks go where I wanted. I mean, the hedge to go where I wanted. This is gonna keep resetting, huh? Oh wait, I'm the cursor, it doesn't matter. I can just go boop. For a moment there, I thought I had to reset the whole puzzle each time. Mutual feelings, ha ha ha, I'm a rock. Die. I won on accident. I didn't even look at the level. I didn't even process my surroundings in a meaningful way. Okay, flag is win, Bob is push, Bob level is rock is you, love is telly. Why though? What do I want you to be anyway? No one knows, it's a secret. Flag is push and open, ghost is Baba and you. Ghost and Baba is you. I can just come in here and go fuck this stuff up. Boom. And I can just destroy the level so that Baba can't do anything. Yeah. Yeah, that's the barrier that stops me from getting anywhere. That's what makes me think maybe I want to turn the level into ghost. If I can. I don't think I can. I don't think I can. Lag is push and open. Oh, what is going on here? So I can't turn the level into rock or you or love or tally because they're all on the bottom and the levels up top and they're stuck on walls. I can make the level push, baba, flag, or win. Which this is one way to win. Yay! Celebrate! And I can make the level flag. Which gives baba something to push to open a door. But 
Which level is lava is down here. Hmm. Why doesn't it work? Cursor is not push and not open and not you. Wall and door is stop. Door is shut. Text is float. Water is sink. Ghost and Bob is you. Oh, level is level. Right. What am I supposed to do with that then? If level is level, then I can't turn into anything. Am I supposed to push it? Ah, now all of the levels are push. Every level in the environment is now push. I'm like, boop, you live here now. LOL. Boo doop. Uh, if I had more flag to work with, I could open this north door and then push the levels into the water to get past it, which level four, six, seven, level eight is the flag I destroyed, right? So nine's up there, so it's probably where I'm supposed to go next. Probably. I can't bring a, like, flag over here and push it up to make flag as you or anything like that. So I can't change what is you right now. How does one get past that? Whoa. Go away, pop-up menu for pressing the Xbox button on accident on this controller. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Oops, I meant to do restart. Yeah. The obvious issue here is that... One flag opens the door to my right, one opens the one to the bottom, then I can make level as push, but then I'm out of flags. I can't do level is open. Because they're both stuck in weird corners. I guess I don't need level is push though. I can just grab anything and push it over here to destroy the water, right? The text is float! And many more. <laughs> okay. You've gone and created a problem for me. I don't have a lot of text that I have access to. There's no ghost, right? I could do ghost is open pretty easily if I wanted to. But nothing really comes of that because there's no ghost in the environment. Just the word ghost hanging out down there in the corner. Coming up next after all this perhaps, but I can't access it yet. How do I reach 12? Like I can open this door, and then I can put the cursor on that dotted line, but how the hell do I get it over there? What kind of tricks are coming up in here? Do you want? I win. There we go. Victory. 
cursor is bleh is interesting. I'm curious what that'll amount to. Yeah. I can just send you over there. But you can't like take control over the flag at all. Because flag is not you. Well, the cursor doesn't take control of anything. The cursor just rides on stuff. Because Bob is me without the cursor being me. Being on me. So we can't do level as flag. We can only... Certainly feels straightforward. There's also water here for some reason. I guess it's maybe to stop me from doing level as push over here, because I have to like lose something in the process to get past the water. Maybe they want this version where it blocks the door for now. But I can't bring open down to make level as open. got more doors than I want to have. Alright, I've probably spent enough time on that. So let's go ahead and stop trying to solve that. And let's instead assume that I am instead not in a solvable situation and go right back in. Alright, so I made you flag. I could check it real quick, but I'm pretty sure this won't really help either. Yeah, I don't see myself being able to accomplish much with that. Okay. I have teleport for a reason. My first instinct is to have love is teleport lead to a situation where basically where I would just push the love into various spots and then like break the hell out of the supposed limitations I have and what I can do here because this stuff's on a wall and that stuff's on a wall but with teleport you could mess with that but I can't do love as push because of where it's located. All I can do is turn other things into love. Which, I don't need flag or... Telep... yeah. Okay, so I don't need Win or Flag or Baba or anything, so I could turn both of these into Love, right? I just need to choose where I want them to be. And they're currently pushed, so I can't... Hmm. First of all, is there anything that stops me from just doing this? Hmm. I've seen words double up via teleporters before.
I'm guessing that doesn't work here just because... Uh, if I put Papa there... I need to be able to get it off the wall, so I guess I'll push Papa against the wall. I think you can make the word stack, but I think you can only do that if the uh, there's multiple teleporters. There we go. If there's just two teleporters, they always alternate locations, so they'll never collide with each other. So now I've got level as Baba and flag. Okay. That's at least something different. But now I still just have two Babas. Ah. What kind of weird shit can I do with that? These are still floating. If I had a third Baba or an Is or something, I could get weird. I don't remember this level very well. I have level as Bob already. Right, I meant more like, can I... Can I make you a Baba? Oh wait, you're where this Baba came from. You're already a Baba and a flag, damn it. I'm trying to conjure an extra Baba. <laughs> Just thinking, like, if I had three Babas, then I could push Babas you up, and then get to those levels up there. That might be what you eventually do, but I guess maybe I don't have that yet. Hooray. Ooh. With the two of you, I don't have to open the door. But I just did anyway. <laughs> Ignore that. With you, I can do this. I can do is push with the right Baba. And then push the levels into it with the left Baba. Very carefully. It never stops feeling weird to control two characters. Yes. So now I just need to dump you. There we go. Gotta figure out how to get rid of... There we go. Uh... Shit. Go back to right before I did push. There we go. So what I need to do is make sure that the cursor's on the right Baba first. There we go. Ah! Level 9. 